Hey church family, good to see you again and welcome to another Daily Devo. Today's Daily Devo is Matthew chapter 19 verses 16 through 29. And what we're going to be talking about today is the story of the rich young ruler who comes before Jesus and has a few questions about eternal life. And this is a great story. This is a great parable. This is um, something that we can all relate to and it's very important to how we come to our relationship with Jesus and what we should be doing. But this rich young ruler comes to Jesus and he even kneels down before him and he says, teacher, what good must I do to have eternal life? Now that's a great question. And Jesus says, why do you ask me what, uh, what is good? And he says, there is only one who is good. If you wanna enter into life, keep the commandments. So of course the rich young ruler is like, okay, which commandments? So Jesus goes on to tell him, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. And he says, well, I've kept all these. What, what do I lack? And here Jesus says, if you want to be perfect, go sell your belongings and give to the poor. You will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. See, a lot of people think that in this, in these verses, that we're not supposed to have possessions. We're not supposed to have stuff. And I want you to know that Jesus is saying it's not about the stuff. It's about this relationship with God. And he's telling the rich young ruler that your priority in this context, your priority is to have a relationship with God. It's not about your stuff. Of course, the rich young ruler kind of walks away with his head down. He's a little taken back by having to sell all of his stuff. But it's not about selling the stuff as much as it is about this relationship with Christ. And that's what we need to take from this. This is all about a relationship. And when we go on to talk about this next part, you're going to find out that he tells the disciples, it's not about what man can do. It's not about good deeds. It's not about anything except for your relationship with Christ. Now, out of that relationship with Christ will come those good deeds. And that's the fruit that is born out of our relationship. But let's keep going as Jesus talks to the disciples and he says, um, truly, I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I just love that verse because I've seen a camel in real life. And by golly, you ain't getting one through the eye of a needle. This, this verse is so famous, it even made its way into a country song over the last few years. So this is a great verse of how it is to get into the kingdom of heaven. And it has nothing to do with you or me, but it has everything to do with the blood of Christ. And it has everything to do with our relationship with Christ. And I just want you to hear one more part here. And the, the disciples say, then who can be saved? And Jesus tells them, that with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And that really ties together that this is nothing about what we are doing necessarily, but everything about our relationship with God. And remember, when you grow closer to God, these good deeds and things will be the fruit that is happening out of that relationship. If we don't have a true personal relationship with Christ, then nothing else really matters. So out of that true personal relationship, that deep relationship comes all these good things that will happen. We will be blessed. We will be able to bless others and we will be doing the work that Jesus wants us to do, which is to be his hands and feet. Church family, I love you. It's always good to see you on a daily Devo. Can't wait to see you again.